Long ago, on the scarred planet of Eros, there was life in abundance. Eros's magic filled the air and the creatures that lived on its surface. The ones living here lived, for the most part, in peace with one another. Most of the population gave what they could and only took what they needed. It was a thriving and beautiful world. But Eros was unbalanced. At least it was to Bane, a deity that felt Eros had had its time in the sun for too long. But after Bane brought his hatred to Eros, Kord, the god of strength and storms, came to their aid, vanquishing Bane and his followers. But he quickly left. Eros was left scarred and dying. The planet's core started to slowly deteriorate, and over the years, parts of the planet's atmosphere would start to become inhabitable, and would eventually spread. This lack of livable space on the planet became too small to host the many intelligent life that lived on Eros which forced a once peaceful people to fight for what remaining land there was, creating many different small colonies. And the elders of each colony would eventually come together in agreement to create cities that would sit above the poisoned world. And once again, the people of Eros came together with a common goal in mind. But the very same atmosphere that was killing the people of Eros would be the same thing that would quickly expedite the evolution of new life forms, furthering the decay of life on Eros. As some took to the skies, living on floating land that would later be known as lily pads, some stayed on the ground, creating small arcane bubble cities that protected them from the harsh environment called droplets. The people of Eros live on, but are in constant search of the peace that their ancestors once had. 